I think new vets are really embarrassed about discussing costs. They find it hard to discuss, and especially because they're probably coming from university where they've either had no income or a very low income, and they're suddenly having to tell clients that there are thousand dollar bills or, or multiple thousands of dollar bills coming along. I find new graduates are, are really embarrassed about it, um, and it makes them nervous. And I think unfortunately that affects everything they do in the, the consulting room because they're nervous to discuss the costs, the clients then see them as nervous about the treatment and so they lose confidence in the new graduate. Whereas if the new graduate was comfortable discussing costs, they know the medicine so they're going to be good at that and it means they're going to give a much better impression to the client. So what's important is that you know how to use the, the system that, that you're using, so the, the practice management system, so that you can work out firstly for a client what they are expecting to, to spend on this. If you change any of those costs or you, or you don't work it out accurately, then you're missing fees and that the client's not going to want you to ring them up and say, sorry, I forgot to charge you this two days later. You have to be able to tell them well before they make their decision exactly what it's going to cost. If you haven't told a client beforehand that you're going to be doing a procedure or you're going to be running a test, you're really not in, you're on shaky ground when you then try to come to charge them later on and most clients are going to get upset about that. One of the things I drill into all of our vets is that the client's got to get the same experience and they've got to have their socks knocked off. And part of that is knowing exactly what's going on, knowing what the risks are to their pet, and also knowing how much they're going to spend in practice. We're really tough on our guys. Um, we use the system, so the computer system, and we make them work out an accurate estimate. Because you can't do it off the top of your head. If I do it off the top of my head, I, I'm guaranteed to be $150 under what it's actually going to cost. Whereas if you're using the computer system to work it out, then you can be confident. And I just tell them they're not allowed to discount. There's no reason for it. And so they just need to work it out accurately. And then there are no surprises. Clients are happy for you to tell them this is how much we're going to spend over the next five days. And then if this doesn't go right, then that's how much we're going to spend. That's the information they want. And it's going to give them more confidence in you as well. Just like I was saying before, vets need to, new graduates need to fake it until they make it. You've got to be confident in the consult room or else they're not going to have any confidence in your medical skills even though you're really great at them. A really common one we get called about is how much does a dental cost? And a dental can cost a client anywhere from $350 to $1,500 and there's no way from a client's description of their pet's mouth can you work that out accurately. But every day I have nurses or vets who will give an approximate estimate over the phone for a dental procedure. The dog is guaranteed to come in with sewer mouth and need $1,500 worth of extractions, and they've been told it'll only be $500. That means the client's gonna be really unhappy with the practice. They're gonna go and tell 10 people that the practice overcharged them after promising that it was gonna be one price, even though you told them, look, it could be between this much and this much, clients only ever remember the lowest number you tell them. And that's really important when giving estimates. They're only gonna remember the lowest number. You've gotta always make sure you're showing them that full range.